let's talk about the outdoor lighting techniques I use when shooting motorsports. Lighting is very often overlooked, but I find that it's one of the most important factors when determining the quality of my shots. So rule number one, shoot towards your shadow. You can get creative and shape light, but for standard shots, this is the rule that I live by. In this top shot, I'm shooting towards my shadow. The subject is in front of me and the sun is at my back. The bottom shot is at the exact same location, but later in the day. And now the sun is between my camera and the car. As a side note for more dramatic shots, I'll often use split lighting, which is where the sun is sort of 90 degrees to my subject, lighting predominantly only one side. Rule number two, know the sun's path. On a race weekend or event, it's important to know where the sun's gonna be when you're planning for those on-track sessions. If you're at a new location and you're not sure where the sun is gonna be, you can use the Sunseeker app, which will give you a nice line all the way from sunrise to sunset. Rule number three, the low sun pays the bills. The lower the sun in the sky, the more flexibility you have to break rule number one. During sunrise or golden hour sessions, I'm often shooting directly into the sun. During these same sessions, you can use rule one, and it offers you kind of a cool look inside the car since the sun is so low. And that's how I use outdoor lighting when shooting motorsports. Uh, if you enjoyed this, uh, feel free to click uh, buttons below uh, to make sure that you see more of this in the future.